Welcome to Favourite Old Sitcom Fun Facts. Are you ready to unravel the mystery behind those unforgettable catchphrases? Want to peek behind the curtain and discover the hilarious antics that went on when the cameras weren't rolling? Well, you've come to the right place. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. We would love to hear your feedback. The Munsters, a spooky family comedy that became a timeless classic. In the mid-1960s, television audiences were treated to a unique blend of spooky and comedic with The Munsters. Created by Ed Haas and Norm Liebman, this sitcom offered a light-hearted and whimsical take on the classic horror genre, bringing a supernatural twist to the traditional family sitcom. Premiering in 1964, The Munsters, centered around the Munster family, a group of lovable monsters living in the fictional 1313 Mockingbird Lane. The head of the household was Herman Munster, a Frankenstein's monster played by Fred Gwynn, whose towering frame and childlike innocence made him endearing to viewers. Joining Herman were his vampire wife Lily, Yvonne De Carlo, their werewolf son, Eddie Butch Patrick, Lily's father, Grandpa Al Lewis, who happened to be Count Dracula, and the ever-present and eerie Marilyn Pat Priest, who was the normal member of the family. The show cleverly played on classic horror tropes, turning them into sources of humor and warmth. Herman's bumbling but good-natured personality, Lily's calm and collected demeanor, and Grandpa's mischievous antics created a dynamic that marred the Munsters feel like a charming, albeit unconventional, family. One of the enduring charms of the Munsters was the juxtaposition of their monstrous appearances with their everyday struggles and aspirations. The Munster family, despite their spooky features, embodied the universal themes of love, acceptance, and family unity. This relatability endeared the show to audiences of all ages. The Munsters embraced its supernatural elements with creativity, incorporating special effects and makeup that, for the time, were considered groundbreaking. The show's visual style, along with its memorable theme music composed by Jack Marshall, added to its distinctive and enduring appeal. While The Munsters had a relatively short original run, concluding in 1966 after two seasons, it left an indelible mark on popular culture. The show's legacy has endured through syndication, finding new generations of fans who appreciate its unique blend of horror, humor, and heart. As the Munster family shuffled off into the sitcom Afterlife, they left behind a timeless classic that continues to charm and entertain audiences, proving that even in the world of monsters, there's always room for laughter, love, and a good old-fashioned family sitcom. Until next time, stay true to yourself. Don't forget to like, comment. Subscribe if you like to become a member of the family. Take care.